Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to talk about another camouflage paint from Rust-Oleum. This is the Army Green, number 279-176. Eyes are going bad. 176. This is Army Green. Let's get this video started. Road Hard Roadhouse is sponsored by Finley River Towing and Speedy's Industrial Coatings, Nozark, Missouri. Speedy's does all your media blasting and powder coating. Big or small, they do it all. Finley River Towing takes care of all your high-end to low-end towing needs. Call Finley River Towing if you're in the Ozark or Branson area. Tell them the Road Hard Roadhouse sent you. Okay, today we got the Rust-Oleum Camouflage. Two-time Ultra Cover. It is in Army Green. Part number 29, or sorry, Part number 279176, Army Green. It's camouflage. It's from Rust-Oleum. Been having really good luck with this, uh, the Dark Force Green from uh, uh, Rust-Oleum for the camouflage and the uh, sand uh, colored uh, camouflage. Worked really well. I got videos on those. This is the first time I'm gonna do the video on this Army Green. So if we got a spot for it here and let's get it started. We, uh, on these camouflages, I've always wanted to go about a foot away. It seems that's about the best um, area to get coverage. What I'm going to end up doing is putting about two or three coats on this because this is the, uh, the hood that I let everything last for about a year on it. I'm going to put about two or three coats on this. That way you can see what it looks like in about a year um, of it sitting outside in the elements. This hood, I uh, let it sit out in the sun. It's about 95% sun uh, on this hood all the time, uh, or at least during the daylight anyway. And as if you, if you watch all my videos, you see that what I do is I do a video on it and I let it dry. I do a video on it in a week all in the same video and i show you how it the cap matches the paint and then in a year i'll do another video that i'll put out separate where i show you how the paint has lasted for a year Let's put another coat on this it doesn't run or anything But I'm doing it from about a foot away. This metal's not totally smooth. I did use... I'm going to put about two or three coats on this. That way you can see what it looks like in about a year um, of it sitting outside in the elements. This hood, I uh, let it sit out in the sun. It's about 95% sun uh, on this hood all the time. Uh, or at least during the daylight anyway. And as if you, if you watch all my videos, you see that what I do is I do a video on it and I let it dry. I do a video on it in a week, all in the same video. And I show you how it, the cap matches the paint. And then in a year, I'll do another video that I'll put out separate where I show you how the paint has lasted for a year. Put another coat on this. It doesn't run or anything. But I'm doing it from about a foot away. This metal's not totally smooth. I did use a scrub brush on it and a scouring pad, just to a uh, red scouring pad, just to see uh, if I could get anything major off of it. But that's it. We'll see how it dries. See how well it looks towards the cap right now. The cap and it are exact. I'm going to go to the wood part now and see how well it uh, adheres to wood. Again, about a foot away. 
If you've watched my videos, you'll know that wood sucks up a lot of paint. So this seemed to go on pretty thin. Um, not like the the tan the sand that went on really well and the uh, dark forest green i think it, those two went on a lot thicker than this did we'll see how it works when it uh when it dries but i'll probably put about three coats on this um if i put more than that i'll show i'll let you know but as always wood does soak up a lot of paint all right let's see how well this army green dried dried really well same color as the cap Let's see how well it worked on the wood. All right, here it is with the wood. See if I can get you a good angle. Dried really well. I thought that it went on a little thin, but it came out really excellent. Really went really well. I've loved all these Rust-Oleum so far from the camo section. It matches after it dried. Okay, this is after it's been out for a week. The Rust-Oleum, two times ultra coverage, Army Green, 279176. Let's see if I can get out of the way and not cause a shadow. Same color, really nice flat, super flat really, color. The reason why I put the Rust-Oleum Army Green camo is because I'm going to be doing camo from other companies see how well they work as well so the Rust-Oleum we've got a really nice army green here's their uh, dark forest green you can hardly see it in there really the sun needs to come out just a tad more around the building so there we go Rust-Oleum army green camo now let's move to the wood. All right. Here's your Rust-Oleum Army Green Camo. It's a flat. Worked out really well. I'm really impressed with the uh, Rust-Oleum's um, Army Green stuff. All their camo stuff. It's gone on really well. It's gone on really flat, which I was kind of surprised. It's a really nice camo. Um, here's their Rust-Oleum, the sand color in camo, and the Rust-Oleum Dark Forest Green. I've done videos on all of these, so if you want to take a look at them. And I'm also getting ready to do a bunch of the Krylon uh, camo stuff. But this is the Rust-Oleum Army Green right here. Turned out really nice. There's the cap. Flat color, went on well, stays on well after a week. And in all my videos, I'll do another video in a year from now. Just shows you how well that this stayed on, as well as the hood over there. And uh, that's how I uh, do my videos, to show you guys how well an outdoor paint type stays on. you have this paint? Has it worked really well for you? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't put her away wet. In one year, another video on this paint. A lot more videos on spray paint coming. Thank you.